So today's video is about the surface area of triangular prisms. So what is a triangular prism? It's a prism that has two bases that are triangles and then the other bases are rectangles. So if this is a picture of a triangular prism, some things in the real world that are shaped like a triangular prism might be the roof of a house or um, a tent. Um, and this is the net, so if you were to take the triangular prism and then unfold it and flatten it out, you'll see that you've got two triangles on opposite sides that are the same size, and then you've got three rectangles in the middle. So how do you find the surface area? Um, you find the area of both triangles and all three of the rectangles. So let's start by finding the surface area of this triangular prism. So when I look at this triangular prism, I see that I've got this triangle here, this triangle here, and then these three rectangles here. So I want to find the area or the surface area. So in order to find the surface area, I've got to find the area of each one of the sides. So I'm going to start with the triangle. And so then the question becomes, well, what do I need to know about the triangle in order to find the surface area? Well, I mean, in order to find the area of a triangle. Well, to find the area of a triangle, I need to know the base of the triangle and I need to know the height. And I taught you guys that if you look for the right angle square, it helps you find the base and the height. So if I look at the triangle, I've got a little right angle square here. So that means this line here is the base and then this dotted line here is the height. And if I look here, these two triangles are the same, so that means the base is 8, and then if I look at this triangle, it's telling me that the height is 3. So to find the area, I'm going to do the formula base times height divided by 2, and so that's going to give me an area of 12 inches squared. And the nice thing about a triangular prism are the two triangles are exactly the same, so that means if one has an area of 12 inches squared, that the other one also has an area of 12 inches squared. The next step is to find, this, find the area of the rectangles. So to find the area of a rectangle, you need to know the length and the width of each one of the rectangles. So if I look at this first rectangle here, they've told me, well, this piece here is 10 inches, so that would be my length. And then I know this piece here is 8 inches, so that's my width. So then to find the area, I'll do 10 times 8, which means the area would be 80. So then I have this rectangle here, and they've given me that this side is 5 inches, but they didn't tell me the length of this side. But if I look here, this length is the same as the length at the top, which means that it's also going to be 10 inches. So then now I can find the area by doing 10 times 5, and that gives me an area of 50 inches squared. And then if I look at this rectangle here, the side is 5 inches, the width is 5. And then again, this length here is the same as the other two. They have a length of 10. So then again, I'm going to do 10 times 5 and get an area of 50 inches squared. So now that I have the area of all of the different faces on my triangular prism, to find the surface area, I simply need to add them all together. So I'm going to add 12 plus 12 plus 80 plus 50 plus 50, which gives me a total surface area of 204 inches squared. So let's look at this uh, surface, this um, example. I want to find the surface area of this particular triangular prism here. So what they've done is they've given you the triangular prism and the dimensions of the triangular prism. And then I've also drawn this net here to kind of help me make sure that I do all of the faces. Because you want to make sure you find the area of all of the faces. So I'll start with the triangle. Again, I need to know the base and the height of the triangle. So the base of my triangle is 4 and the height is 3. So that means the area of the triangle will be base times height divided by 2, so it will be 4 times 3 divided by 2, which is 6. So the area of each one of the triangles will be 6 centimeters squared, because remember, the two triangles are the same size. So then the next thing I want to look for is this rectangle here. So that's this rectangle kind of right here on the side. When I look at that rectangle, I know that the length is 15, and then the width of it is the side of the triangle, which would be 5. So I do 15 times 5, which gives me an area of 75 centimeters squared. Then if I look at the next one, I have this rectangle on the other side, which is the same as the rectangle on this side, which again, I'm going to do 15 times 5, and I get an area of 75 centimeters squared on this rectangle. Then the hardest rectangle sometimes to find is the one down at the bottom of the triangular prism. But you can kind of see the dotted line here kind of outlining that rectangle. So this rectangle here is basically the same size as the base of the triangle, which is 4, and then the side of the triangular prism, which is 15. So to find the area of that, I'm going to do 15 times 4, and then that rectangle has an area of 60 centimeters squared. And again, once I know the area of all of the faces, I can simply add all the faces together to get the total area. So I'd add 6 plus 6 plus 75 plus 75 plus 60, and then I have a surface area of 
222 centimeters squared. So just keep in mind when you want to find the surface area of a triangular prism, the first step is to make sure that you find the area of the two triangles and then also find the area of the three rectangles. And then once you know the area of each of the faces, then add them all together and then that's how you'll get your total surface area. Alright, don't forget to teach the tiger something you learned in the video today.